We are now going to proceed with some sub-assemblies. Uh, we're going to put the uh, stem and bar and our levers and control package together on the bench. Uh, it's easier to deal that way. We're not dropping parts on the floor. Uh, then we'll put the whole unit on the, on the bike. First thing that we've done already is we've uh, removed the screws and applied a little grease to the threads because uh, we, we want good lubrication on all of our, our fasteners. So that's all, that's all done. So we're going to uh, think about this. We want this angled up. So uh, angled down a young man's position. Angled up, less flexible position uh, were installed. And we'll put some gentle security on those just to keep them from flopping around. The handlebar stem assembly has been slid on the steering column. We have some excess steering column at the top. Looks like two washers. We'll put the larger one on the bottom for arbitrary aesthetic reasons. Uh, we do want more spacers. Uh, then we have steering column and a top cap. Hold it all together. And we'll get some light adjustment here. Let's just pull out some of the slack on the system. Again, a bearing adjustment, basically taking out play and slack, but no more than that. So I'm just going to snug the side bolts and fine tuning the stem alignment, etc. We'll be done as we proceed into the assembly. Uh, housing is going to be needed uh, to, to be set, but uh, we have no derailleurs here, and that uh, is something that we're going to need to proceed to. Uh, the rear derailleur is, is missing. Uh, before we install it, we want to check the hanger alignment uh, even, on a, even on a brand new uh, bike. 